So, welcome to the show that won the 2024 Crunchyroll Anime Awards. Uh, best series. And uh, Luffy's the best main character. They may have won other things. I didn't really go that deep into it. Just the very top of the headlines. So, I get best show. And also, I understand they're talking about 2024, which is you know what aired last year. There was probably 40 episodes last year, probably from... 1,050 to 1,090 or something like that, you know, approximately. So Luffy's a very different character there than he is here. Is he the best main character I've ever seen? I think he is because he's different, right? When I look through all the shows I've watched, and, and again, I've watched many, but I've watched a lot of the classics. You know, you got Cowboy Bebop, you know, they had a pretty iconic character. Attack on Titan has some iconic characters. Eren was very different. Misaka, or whatever her name was, you know, she was really awesome. She was a very interesting character. Samurai Champloo has some very interesting characters. You know, they just, you know, shine. Great teachers. A very similar character to Luffy, actually, now that I think about it. You know, affecting people's lives without realizing it. I think Luffy's the character I'm most obsessed with just because of his psychology. He doesn't care. There's so much he doesn't care about. You know, <laughs> he'll sit there be talking, somebody giving something profound, you know, this is, this is why the systemic racism exists. And he'll be like, I don't care about any of that. I'm going to kick your ass because you are mean to my friend. <laughs> Nobody else lives in that zone, man. He does not give a shit. And that's just so refreshing. He, there's no angst. Yes, He's sad his brother died. Yes, he was sad when his crew, he thought his crew died for that little bit of time, right? But there's none of this angst, man. There's none of this, I'm going to sit down and cry, which is worst trope in, in anime. I, I, that's why I keep bringing it up. People have to beg you to get up and continue the journey. Because you failed once. Luffy would get his ass kicked by Crocodile and just come back and fight him again. That's you know, He's not going to sit there and cry because he failed. Now, it'll be interesting to see how he reacts to Ace's death when he's actually back. You know, he has his faculties again, right? But he's just such a refreshingly original character. And, considering the impact this show has had, I haven't really seen many copycats of him. Naratu's a different kind of dude, man. He's just not, the, you know, he's kind of self-absorbed. But he's much more realistic. I don't think anybody like Luffy exists, to be honest with you. Maybe. And maybe Luffy's on the spectrum somewhere. You know, he could be neurodivergent or something like that. And that, that could explain a lot. You know, I don't know. I'm not a psychologist. People are, to me, people are just people. I don't give a shit about labels. Like, I never have. But, you know, it could explain some things. The way the labels are useful is that, like, they can explain this is how you approach this person, right? You know, some, see, it's, it's sometimes hard to parse it out. Is that person being super meticulous and very careful with the word choices and easily misunderstanding everything you say? Is that because they're an asshole or is it because they're neuro neurodivergent, right? That's when you need to know if somebody's neurodivergent. So you can say they're not being an asshole. That's just the way they are. If that's just the way you are, that's just the way you are. It's cool, right? Nobody's upset if that's the way you are. Where we're upset is if it's a choice. If you're being this way when you didn't have to be this way just because you like irritating other people. And there are people like that that exist, right? That's where you need to know the difference. Are you neurodivergent? Because if you are, we can totally accept whatever you, you give us, right? Like, we, we, we got that. That's no problem. Or are you being this way because you like pissing people off? You like irritating people? You, you like getting under people's skin? Because that's how you get attention, you know, which is what that boils down to. At home, you had four brothers. Nobody could get attention unless you pissed them off. Like, you had to get on your mom's nerves so that way she would give you attention, which is what you wanted, right? Yeah, so you're an asshole. It's a choice. Even though it really isn't a choice because, you know, this is what you learned growing up. You're kind of brainwashed by your childhood. Ultimately, is that a choice? You know, that's debatable. We're not really going to get into all that. I'm already in the weeds in this intro, but my point is... I really don't think anybody like Luffy exists. And usually that would be like, well, then it's so unrealistic. It breaks the suspension of disbelief. You know, move on to the next thing. But in this particular case, he's such a refreshingly original character. It probably doesn't exist in real life. 
Because here's another thing. People aren't indestructible in real life. In real life, there are consequences to your actions. You can't talk shit to everybody you run across. Because you're going to get your head caved in. Well, what if your head doesn't cave in because it's rubber? So that's why another reason why it's so refreshingly original. So, I don't know. It's, 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 it's greater than some of the parts. Luffy is greater than some of his parts. There's just something intrinsically awesome about him. His optimism. His lust for exploring. He likes cool things. He likes new things. He's easily bored. If he was in real life, again, he would probably be somebody who'd be super annoyed. Like, again, stealing food from my plate, that's a non-starter for me. I would never do that to somebody else, and they would never do it to me. And he just doesn't, doesn't even think about it, doesn't have a problem with it. You know, like, that, he'd be super annoying if he was real. But watching him as a third-party observer, awesome character. Truly spectacular, awesome character. He should win Best Character every year. But, again, I don't know the character development. Like, maybe I won't like him in the future. I don't like, I mean, you, I, you know I love the series. Since we're not getting the rest of the crew, this isn't my favorite part of the series. Super dramatic, plot driven, I love it, you know. I love it, but I don't like it, if that makes any sense. You know, there are parents who love their children, but they don't like them. The per, who they are as a person. But they will always love them. This isn't to that extreme, you know. I don't hate it. I just like it less because the, the rest of the crew's not around. So I wouldn't have predicted feeling that way 150 episodes ago. So what will I think 150 episodes from now? Maybe I won't like Luffy as a character. Maybe I don't think he should win best character every year. But that's where I am right now. That being said, this is episode 488. You know where we are. And you know where we're going. Three, two, one. Look at him just up there at the top strutting. There's only a few of the Marines left. <laughs> there used to be two groups of them. Remember that? You need to get the hell out of there. There's just a little bit of ice left. That's reflected on the map. <laughs> what an asshole. I want Buddha to wreck his world. Even though I hate the Navy and I want the Navy to lose. Like I said, I'm rooting against... It, a lot of times when I was... I'm to go back to my football analogy. The Patriots are playing the Titans, right? Whoever's got the ball, I'm cheering for them. When the other team has the ball, I'm cheering for them. So, whoever's got the initiative in this fight, I'm cheering for them, but I don't care if it goes the other way. <laughs> Rampaging villains. It's all about heroes and villains. What is this, the show heroes? Yes, we understand you have this ideology. If you even believe it, which I sometimes wonder. I do like that you called him a little punk. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, yes, Colby. Did somebody... Am I crazy or did somebody tell me Colby's hair was a, a, an homage to Naratu? Is that right or is it a coincidence? You know, not Naratu's the character in the show. Because Sakura is the one with the hair. <laughs> That's right. Blow him away. <laughs> He's talking shit. Here's my question. So that scar on Crocodile's face, is that because he was injured before he got the fruit power? Because I don't think he'd be injured now, right? He wouldn't need stitches now. So I'm assuming that's before you got the power. And then you maintain whatever scars you have when you get a power that transforms your body, right? <laughs> Everybody's a brat. Ever since I learned that brat really means bastard, like it's a harsher connotation I've been taking it, it makes more sense. That's right. Fix him up. Yeah, I don't recognize any names. <laughs> Doctors can carry whatever hell they want. Hey, you know what submarine is? Is that a thing here? Really? You got time to look at the ocean? With all this shit going on? <laughs> yeah. 
F the Celestials, by the way. Just putting that out there. Again, with the submarine. Is that officially a submarine? I guess it is, because it didn't really have the glow, did it? So I guess it's officially a submarine. That makes sense. It didn't have the glow of the other ships that you know, can submerge and come back up. Yeah, it actually, if you look at the design, it does look like a submarine. Interesting. I didn't pick up on that last episode. Hurry up, a-hole. Yeah, I ain't moving shit. Look at that big-ass hammer. <laughs> I love their lingo, rascal pirates. Dude, you just killed their leader. You think there's any talking you can do at this point? <laughs> I want him dead. I want I want at least one of the admirals dead or this is all pointless. Worse than pointless. Like you, you end up worse off than you started. If you kill an admiral, then you're you're you can call it a push, right? <laughs> I like their little uh hatch here. <laughs> hey, that's a way to get out there. Pretty efficient, man. I like it. There's something about these Marines running in formation that tickles me. Like when they were uh, retreating before. Something about it. What is his power, specifically? I know it's the power of Buddha, but you never see Buddha in the text doing this, right? And then sitting down a force. So I think he... Can he manipulate... Golden energy, whatever the hell that means. I don't know. I guess Kobe represents how messed up the Marines are. They just indoctrinate you, bring you in here, and then the, the rampant violence. War is hell, essentially. It's, it's like a George R. R. Martin thing. War is hell. War is not glamorous. What we're seeing here is not glamorous, even though we're cheering for it and and I'm excited, and it feels like a wrestling match. It's really not glamorous. People are being brutalized on both sides. And Colby's representing that. I like that. <laughs> Rock his world. Hell yeah. Tell you what, one thing we can say... <laughs> Shut your... Oh, so you're willing to let him leave. Is that what you're saying? Or does he mean be gone as in you're dead, right? Interesting. <laughs> Shut your big mouth. Uh, what I was going to say, though, is Blackbeard can take a punch, man. He's not a bitch. The hell was that? That was somebody else. Is that Garp? Might redeem himself. Considering he's probably going to be drummed out of the service for what he tried to do. Yeah, it was Garp. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. You were trying to do that a couple minutes ago too, when Buddha had to keep you down, right? <laughs> oh boy, he's about to rock their worlds for real. Uh, submerge? I guess you'll be out of right, like you said. A lot of submarines, especially the old style. <laughs> I love the panda so much. Uh, they can move faster above water than below water. So they would stay above water if they need to go fast, right? But you, then, of course, you can still be targeted if you do that. Doesn't look like he's moving now. What the hell? I thought they were moving. <laughs> well, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> See, now it looks like they're just stationary in between all these ships, right? Before it looked like they were racing away. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Exposition. Now we understand what's happening. Super powered. A lot of people are going to die, man. Shit, even the sky's got to crack in it. Holy shit. That'll mess up the weather. Jesus. Ha, 
<laughs> there is some shit, man. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, that's a damn problem. <laughs> Dude, you may have bigger problems. Maybe you want to go take care of Blackbeard. What do you think? He's on his mission, though, so he's not going to break orders, right? Yeah, poor guy. I don't really give a shit because I don't care about Kobe, but I, I appreciate what he means, what he represents. Big picture, right? Well, you're, you're an agent of chaos, so it doesn't matter if you're careful. Then back up, bitch. <laughs> Agreed. I do agree with that. Right now, I think it's about a push. And they did want the death really badly, didn't they? Maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> Time to go. If there was any doubt, right? <laughs> if you saw him rolling around crying like a little bitch, then you wouldn't be too scared of him. Yeah, maybe it's time to go here too. Time to leave here, you know. Is it necessary for the video snail to have eyelashes? Just wondering. Yeah, you want to get the uh, high, uh, what do they call that, uh, sea level? Yeah, I'm a noble. I'll go first. I'll pay you. F you. Oh, it's above sea level, I think. It's like uh, like uh, 100 miles above sea level or something. You have to figure out where that is on the island. It sounds like they know it. Those assholes. We've taken out about a third of them, from what I remember. Shit, right in the back. Man, ain't nobody making the ship. Shit, man. Jesus. No man left behind means a lot of people get left behind. <laughs> yeah, it's time to kick their asses. <laughs> F it, right? I like the energy. He's not built for this, man. It's called trauma. PTSD. Is he got telepathy or some shit? I wouldn't think so. So it's more like an overactive imagination. Shit. Cycle of violence. Getting retribution for this leads to retribution for that. It's dot, 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 right? I really get the point they're hammering home. They're just kind of laboring over it, right? Like the... Jesus. I love. also love that it's in shadow, right? Artistically, it's excellent. Yeah. Body's hitting the floor. 
Yeah, maybe he could be a medic or something. Field medic. You don't have to completely leave the service, but you're not sitting there just trying to murder people, you know? Forget about him. That's not how you inspire loyalty. So F the wounded. That's why I like her. She's not just about killing people. I get where they're coming from. The Marines, by the way. You gotta finish this now, right? Yeah, <laughs> you're in trouble. Two cigars at once just feels wasteful. Yep. Some of these people have a little bit of sense overwhelming their bloodlust, right? Most people, it's the other way around. Not as glamorous as you thought. They really shouldn't show the old version of him because there's no way in six months he, that he's changed that much. Jesus Christ. Nobody says it's about forgiving them. <laughs> They're very happy. Well, shit. I laid it right in the blood guts. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. He's in four pieces. Of course he's not all right. That was probably the love of his life. There's a whole backstory with this dude. Break your heart. But pff, it's gone now. Yep. Oh, no, it's just his family. Yeah, sister, parents... Their faces don't matter. That's why they're reflected out, right? It could be any parents and any sister. It is tragic. Now let's get back to this a-hole. If you spent as much time destroying as you spent bragging on yourself, maybe it'd be destroyed by now. <laughs> I thought you were going to drop that on a submarine like 45 minutes ago. Oh, shit. There's light, bitch. I was wondering where he was. <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> Thank you. Next time we shouldn't have to beg you. Catch him like a football punt. That's a big dude. I already knew he was a big dude, but the way he just called Jimmy like he was a kitten. How dare you get away? <laughs> he is wrecked, man. Submerge now. What? Colby, is he going to stop the fight? You're under arrest for treason. Man, there's, there's no ending this. Wait, we, there's no time out in war. I appreciate the sentiment, dude, but come on, man. They're about to slap you out the way. Yeah, the, the abandoning the wounded is pretty bad. I agree with that. Not anymore, man. He's right about one thing. The Navy's won. Dude, that's kind of the purpose of war. <laughs> Arrest that idiot. Arrest that idiot. <laughs> you 
You don't want the Admiral's attention ever if you're somebody with his rank. You do not want an Admiral's attention. <laughs> yes, you are dead. He's about to execute you for treason. We've already seen him do it. Oh, shit. How'd this get me emotional? A pirate saving a Navy man's life. That's pretty awesome. They said gave time for Luffy. <laughs> this douchebag. <laughs> like you're in, like you're tangible, right? Like you can actually get shot, bitch ass. Oh, he's one of the four emperors. Okay, that makes that's a little bit different. Oh, Shanks. Okay, I thought that was Shanks, but I was like, I'm not gonna get excited yet. I suspected because of his hair, you know. Picked up the hat. It, you did get left behind. I was going to bring that up. <laughs> Guess he's been watching TV. <laughs> you know. Apparently, from what people are telling me, the emperors were always part of the conception of the world building. It was the warlords that came about during the process of writing the story, right? So the emperors were always in game. I don't really understand them. I don't think we've had much exposition about the emperors. I don't really know who the hell they are, or what they do, or what their powers are, or where they fit and all this, right? But it is interesting that they'd want to stop the war now. Is it because of what I've been saying all along? You need the pirates so you can keep power, right? Like if you're the Navy, and maybe the emperors and especially the warlords, if all the pirates are gone, you have to demilitarize. There's no reason for everybody to have so much power and have such a large military, because then you just need basically mall cops. Have a bunch of mall cops stationed all over the world, and that's it. It'd be very, you can get 10% of the forces you have now. You don't want to wipe out the pirates. You just didn't want them all under one sword, under one flag. You didn't want them all united under one leader. That Whitebeard had to go. Gold Roger had to go. You can't have these leaders that have like a large, vast number of, of pirates that basically equal their own country. As long as there are a bunch of scattered people, there's a, there are enough of a threat that you have a large military, but not enough of a threat to actually do any damage. But you need, like I said, so you need a certain level. So that could be why we're stopping the fight. As is, if we stop the fight right now, it's a massive, devastating loss for the pirates. Government is stronger than ever, other than the PR hit they're going to take. And like you said, property damage, who cares? They'll funnel money into that and they'll get it fixed. You needed an admiral or two to die for this to anywhere be near a push. Like Lava Boy, if he could have died, maybe the ice guy, right? But like, you know, light bitch, I can't, I don't know what can harm him really. But you need at least one of them to die for this to be worth anything. As it is, I mean, it's just a devastating defeat. Ace dies, so that was pointless. The confrontation that you could force Whitebeard would be like, well, I'm going to die in battle. Maybe I can take a couple with me. If they could have done that, it would have been worth it. But they didn't. They couldn't. So stopping now is bad. But you were le you're lo losing street-level pirates as they try to retreat. Maybe you were getting ready to lose a submarine. With Luffy on it, that'd be a devastating loss. But they kind of, they were fighting uh, Lava Boy, and maybe somebody could have got him. You know, I don't know. It, it, it seemed like at first it seemed like there was enough people arrayed against him they could get him, especially with Crocodile. He seemed to have some impact, but it didn't seem like there was much traction there. Like a full episode or two later, he's not dead yet, and he wasn't even really badly hurt. So maybe that, there was no chance of killing him. At that point, you might as well get the, the peace treaty or whatever. Ceasefire. But, 
yeah, I guess it's just going to go into books as a huge, huge defeat for the Pirates.